Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to run a Flask application or a Flask code behind Apache 2. Now, before starting this video, let me tell you why do we use Apache 2. It's because when you run Flask as an application, Flask starts it, its own development server, which is open to a lot of vulnerabilities and also the load balancing and opening multiple threads to um, respond to multiple concurrent requests it's, is not guaranteed by the Flask development server. Now for that we have the Apache 2 server which is open source and which has all these things covered to create number of uh, multiple parallel threads to serve multiple parallel requests. Now that is why we use this Apache 2 web server uh, in a production environment. Till now we were using a development environment to run the Flask code. So now let's go on about how to deploy or run this Flask application behind Apache 2. For that, uh, let us go to the Apache 2 uh, configuration folder that is uh, cd slash etc apache2 and sites enabled. Now here I have already done this configuration but for demonstration purpose I will show you the entire thing once again. So what I have done is I have created a file which is called as flask.conf which has the configuration uh, for the Apache to run our Flask application. So what we'll do, we'll uh, edit, edit this file, flask.conf. Okay, so this is how the file looks like. This is how your file should also look like. So take a screenshot of it or just memorize the script. This is how your script should look like. Now coming from the top, it says listen to port 1998, but to remove the discrepancy since Flask runs in, in port 5000 and while coding several APIs when you had used uh, the port 5000, so to remove the discrepancy and error between Flask and uh, Apache, we'll name give the port as 5000. You know, 1998 was just the port number. So we'll give the port 5000 and here you give the directory, the complete path of the directory where your code that is myflask.wsgi should be there. I'll tell you what this code does. Uh, so and then this remains the same. Uh, sorry, uh, here you have to change the user and group according to what your computer has. And as you can see here, process five threads one. This you can change according to your uh, uh, convenience or your uh, usage. But for now, let it remain as it is. And then you have to uh, mention the error log. That means whatever error your Python generates or any error, any server error or your code error is logged into this file. You can name this uh, log file, but to follow a uniform naming, uh, what we'll do, we'll have this uh, uh, Apache log directory. It is actually slash var log Apache 2, this whole variable. And slash the file name is error and at the port where we are serving that is 5000 similarly access logs also will change it to 5000 so any error will be uh, reported in error 5000.log file and access the general access to the server will be named as access 5000.log okay now you might also have noticed that i have given the daemon process as flask api you can give anything as per your convenience it's better to use this and in the directory part also you have to give the directory where your code is there so that it will uh, grant all the permissions to whoever is accessing that particular directory so that's all you have to change uh, in this directory as per your uh, computer's environment rest all remains the same so let us save this file okay so i'm not in the root user okay so all these uh, um, Apache configuration should be done in a root user as a as a root user or else it won't uh, save any changes Okay, so We had changed 1998 to 5000 That's all. Okay, once the configuration file is built, you need to restart Apache 2. So for that, you run the command service Apache 2 restart. Takes a bit longer time in my computer. Okay, now to check the status service. 
Apache 2 state status sorry. so now you can see our WSJ flask API is running behind Apache all right so now the environment is set uh, the configuration is set to run the Apache file now let's go on to my uh, directory uh, file system so as I mentioned in my uh, Apache file you have the home project and here I have all the files so app.py is basically the API codes which uh, uh, I have written that's that's the assignment so I'm not supposed to open this because of plagiarism issues now this file my this is what your server uh, is running all right the Apache 2 this is the path which we gave there as WSGI uh, script alias was the path of this file now what does this file contain this is nothing different like nothing special this is just a, a python file so what you have you have the shebang over here to mention that this is a python file and then you do import sys and then you set a path this path is also the path of the directory where you have your code all right uh, and then you have this thing from app import app as application where app is nothing but the file name in which i have written the codes for the api so it should be exactly like this don't just uh, write import app as application it will give weird errors that you can check in the log it should be exactly like this from app import app as application and that's all your uh, application is ready now no need to run this code as uh, python3 uh, app.py or flask run you can just go to postman and as you can see i have tried on port 1998 but now i'll give port 5000 and let's see if it works okay so here you got uh, the result of the api whatever uh, this api's function was that is to list given the ride id list the uh, all the details of the ride so that's all now your code is running behind apache now another note on this uh, if you have to um, deploy the same application on aws it's almost not on almost it's the same procedure everything i did was on the uh, local host on the command line of my computer if you have to deploy the same on aws just ssh to your, your aws instance and do the same thing what you discussed in the video and instead of giving local host you have to give the public ip of your aws instance that's all and uh, I hope you understood the video. If there are any doubts, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.